Hello dear students welcome to pen and paper chemistry on YouTube in today's video we are starting with the topic of aromatic aldehydes and ketones and what is expected of you is to keep a pen and a notebook handy i hope you all have a separate notebook specifically designated to organic chemistry and its study so let's get going with pen and paper chemistry we start with the nomenclature of uh, aldehydes and ketones so first we take up the nomenclature of aldehydes aromatic aldehydes now if you remember from our earlier videos i had told you that in the case of aromatic compounds a lot of the common names have been accepted by iupac to be used as the scientific names of a compound so uh, the same applies for benzaldehyde c6h5cho is benzaldehyde accepted as the iupac name so what we are going to do is if there is any substituent involved then we are going to treat this as the parent compound that is benzaldehyde and depending on the substituent we are going to write it as a prefix or a suffix so let's get started would you like to give this a try yourself before i give you the answers remember the preference series the order of um, naming organic compounds if you are confused then there is a separate playlist on iupac naming of compounds on the channel iupac nomenclature go through that and you will be able to easily recall the preferential series so which of the two cho or oh gets preference in naming as you can see over here so our carbon number 1 will be the one which contains the cho group then 2 then 3 4 5 and 6 so based on this our oh over here as you can clearly see is the secondary functional group so i am going to name it as 2 hydroxy benzaldehyde have you got it right very good well done okay now try the next one okay by the way benzaldehyde is also known as the oil of bitter almonds that means because it is a major constituent uh, obtained from the almonds here um, in fact interestingly because of its special aroma it is also used in perfumery as well as added to some foods let's go on to the next one cho and coh be very careful which of these is going to get the first preference yes of course our cooh so it's 1 2 3 and so on and so forth now how do you name a cho group as a prefix yes we are going to call it as at the second position i have formyl that means cho group will be named as a formyl so we will have two formyl and my parent compound now will be c6h5cooh and according to iupac system its name benzoic acid is readily accepted so we have two formyl benzoic acid as the name of this compound try the next one now ch3 alkyl groups do they get preference over cho or is it the other way around yes of course our cho gets preference so 1 2 3 and so on and so forth and we have the name of this compound wherein the methyl group comes as a prefix so two methyl and then see the rest of the compound c6h5cho and that gives me benzaldehyde right you can practice a few more compounds to practice the to see the to get a firm understanding of the nomenclature of aldehydes how do we name ketones aromatic ketones now if you see over here 
this becomes like a side chain wherein the side chain has got a functional group in other words my this benzene ring will now be written as a phenyl group rather than a benzene ring so if we go according to the earlier system i have a phenyl group and i have a methyl group over here so phenyl methyl or methyl phenyl and then i have a, a ketone ketonic group over here right so this is how i would name it according to the earlier that is the common system in fact the common system used to refer to this compound because this is an acetyl derivative this was also called as acetophenone in fact iupac has agreed to accept this as the name for compounds where there are substituents in the ring you will see that later but let us come back to the actual iupac name of this compound so to name this compound what we'll have is we are going to number it right so this is my carbon number 1 this is carbon number 2 at carbon number 1 i have a phenyl group so we are going to name it in the iupac system as 1 at the first position i have phenyl as a substituent and then two carbon atoms in the chain that gives me eth saturated so an and ketonic group so on one phenyl ethanol but most of the places in your textbooks also you will find acetophenone quite often so please put this to memory so that you can relate to the names quickly similarly come to this one now try naming this compound now if you see over here you've got c6h5 c6h5 you can pause the video try naming the compound yourself so there's a phenyl group here there's a phenyl group over here that means it's a diphenyl right so we are going to name it as a diphenyl and there is just one carbon atom here so we will have meta known but as i said there are other common common names as well and the common name which is accepted by the iupac as well is benzophenone c6h5 co c6h5 c6h5 co c6h5 if you write the condensed form of this structure this is how you would write it or just the molecular formula this is how you going to write it this is benzo phenone right but what about the iupac system yes again diphenyl methanone would be the iupac system or the iupac name of benzo phenone now coming to the third one now i would like you to try this yourself after pausing the video try and recall what gets preference so here this is a side chain this is a chain so we are going to number this as 1 and 2 uh, right is that so is that how we are going to name it yes if we follow exactly the iupac rules this is how we are going to do but you notice that there is substitution in the ring so this part of me so supposing this chloro was not there then this would simply have been phenyl group right but now we have chloro and this chloro is part of the phenyl and at what position is it there so let me number it as 1 2 3 and 4 at the fourth carbon atom so if i go exactly according to the iupac system i will have 4 chlorophenyl and two carbon atoms in the chain so eth 
saturated and a ketone so ethanol right but as i said earlier iupac has accepted this name uh, benzophenone sorry acetophenone c6h5 coch3 acetophenone so what we are doing is basically at the fourth position we are substituting the chloro in acetophenone so what can be alternatively name it as 4 chloro aceto phenone both names are readily accepted for nomenclature by iupac apply the same logic and name this compound so if you were to remove the oh what would you name this compound as look at what you've got over here yes you've got benzophenone right now you're going to bring back the oh so and that oh is um, positioning itself as 1, 2, 3 and 4 at the fourth carbon atom. So, how are we going to name it as 4 hydroxy because it is going to be written as a prefix and then benzophenone. Right? Be careful C6H5COCH3 is acetophenone. And C6H5CO, C6H5 is benzophenone. You will need this because you are going to name the compounds that you are obtaining uh, as part of the chemical behavior of these compounds. So, be very, very careful and clear about this. We are now going to move on to the most look forward part of this video that is preparation of aromatic aldehydes and ketones and what I'm going to do is I'll continue it as video 2. In the meantime please make sure that you have this flow chart ready you can take a screenshot make sure I will uh, make sure that you draw this with your own hands using sketch pens color pencils I will show you the flow chart part by part Interestingly, these are only the preparations. These are this is the flow chart for the preparation of aromatic aldehydes and ketones. Right? So this is all aldehyde. Yes, you can take screenshots, but please make sure that you draw them yourself. We are going to use these flow charts. What we will do is we will Put them on the side and based on these we are going to write the reactions. You have taken a screenshot and the last reaction that you see over here. This is just the aromatic ketones. So one preparation of aromatic ketones. The rest are all aromatic aldehydes. I hope you are going to keep this flowchart ready when we start the preparation of aldehydes in the next video. Stay connected.